Good afternoon guys. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing uh, fantastically well. So I've come to Camelon Beach on my last day in Phuket. Uh, but before I show you the beach, I'm going to show you around uh, some uh, stalls where you can get food, a few snacks, etc. So this is the place I've come to. Over the bridge will take you onto the beach of Camelon Beach. Uh, along this side here, there's a little like restaurant, so you can order food here. You can get a pancake, a lemon shake, orange shake, etc. on there. <sighs> Those are the prices. And you can just sit in there if you want to. Uh, selling all your hats, cushions, and another place to get a fruit shake. Uh, there's a restaurant on the right hand side here too. And uh, some of the prices at this restaurant if you want to eat here. So that gives you an idea how much you could be paying if you come to this place here. Uh, you can buy clothes, clocks, flip-flops, tops, dresses. Uh, you've got another restaurant on this side here too. So there's quite a few restaurants along this uh, section here, just over the green bridge, and uh, you, you can uh, choose oh, that, a couple of restaurants where you can maybe want to eat at. So those are the prices at that restaurant. You've got this place here too. <laughs> So if you want to check out prices, uh, please do pause the video. Uh, another place for food. <laughs> and uh, prices for drinks too. So plenty of uh, food options and you've got a big listing here too of the foods that they do at this place here so you're not short of options of the uh, food you can have might need to uh camel beach here you've got another place here too looks very very nice and if you're into your seafood uh i imagine this place will be open later maybe it's my first time in camel beach so i couldn't really tell you on the seafood restaurant there ice lollies or coconut and uh, down here you've got another restaurant as well so that just summarizes some of the stalls along here uh, later we'll go for a little walk up there and uh, show you what's available in the area uh, so now we're going to go to the Camilla Beach, on the beach itself, show you what's available and then uh, wait for that sunset. Hopefully it'll be a sunset tonight but there is a 60% chance of rain on the day of me filming this. So we shall see. So that is the green bridge where you'll enter Camilla Beach and you've got a massage place along this side here too. Uh, some of the prices that is available at this beach and the prices are reasonable uh, food for a thai massage food for all massage and the same price again for a foot massage when i went to kata beach a couple of days ago it was phone apart for a foot massage on the beach there so it was a big difference uh, on the right here you've got a restaurant selling all kinds of foods selling coffees uh, this place is selling uh, all your fruit drinks, cocktails, beers, uh, Western food. Welcome to Boo Prasan here. Thank you, Kev. And over there, I can eat like here. This place here? Okay, thank you, Kev. There you go. Uh, a place to get fresh food shakes movies on this side here too. Um, if you want to hire an umbrella, you've got prices on there too. 
So the reason why you're sitting it like this here along the side of the path here is because they're doing some uh, work along here. So at the, at the time of me filming this, it may be finished to work. That's needed to be completed along the path of uh, the side of Camla Beach here. So check it out here. So you got all your all your beach chairs on there. A view of the ocean. Uh, Ty's working hard here. As you can see there too. And uh, you've got a nice resort along this side here. Uh, I don't know the name of the resort. Uh, as soon as I get a name, I'll uh, let you guys know what it is. Gotta get out from that music. <laughs> Uh, if you want to learn to surf, it's uh, 1,200 baht back there, if you want to surf. So imagine staying at this place here, you've got a bar in the pool. You can use the sunbeds there and you're close to the beach too. How awesome is that? And what I've noticed is there's plenty of places to for your trash too, so no excuses of leaving uh, trash around on the beach here. You know, we like to keep our beaches clean across the planet, don't we? Uh, this lady is selling uh, these for the beach. So I can't tell you how much they are. Uh, if you guys want to go on the lumber, there's uh, a telephone number right there. Okay, some pine restaurant by the sea. So that is attached to the hotel. And uh, those are the prices that they've got. So they've got drinks menu. And what else have they got here? And the wine menu. So it's just a drinks menu here. And uh, Apparently got to be 16 and over to stay at this place here. So, just a bit of information for you there. You can rent a paddle bowl for one hour for 4,000 baht. If you want to rent one, uh, you've got all your sunbeds, a hammock, uh, a swing chair, which is always nice. Uh, if you guys are interested in uh, apartments and stuff, you've got this place right here too. If you're looking to book a tour, then you've got this place where you can book a tour. Uh, you've got this uh, soul selling your coconuts, drinks, sun creams, etc. Uh, you've got a place for a massage here too. Ah, uh, later. A uh, couple of stalls along here selling caps, shorts, flip flops uh, to cater for all your beach needs along this idea. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> so quite a few stalls selling pretty much the same food meal on this side here. Uh, another place where you can get refreshments. Uh, all your hats are on here. Semi gum on this side here too. So selling pretty much the same thing on here too. And uh, what we got here. Another place for property. And up here is where you'll see quite a few uh, market stalls selling fruit uh, and stuff like that here. And you can even have a few drinks, plant yourself down here and just uh, relax. Uh, if you want a pancake, you can have a pancake along here too, or maybe uh, a martine food shake on there. 
Uh, again, another place to book a tour. Okay. Sorry, Kev. Okay. Ah, let me. Those are the prices, guys, yeah, if you're interested. Perfect. Where are you located? This corner? Ah, that's your restaurant. Okay. okay. Maybe later I'll come. Okay. So you can sit in there, enjoy the food. Okay. Uh, again, another place to book a tour. It's quite repetitive of the amount of stalls I've got here for tours uh we've got the coconut garden and resort along this place here check it out good location right by the beach can have a few drinks uh you've got the coconut garden here uh they've got all your foods here too uh so you will be paying a bit more because you're on the beach here uh but as long as the food is good then you've got no complaints so a good spot if you want to be by the beach here. Uh, we've got the Pond Restaurant. Beautiful. Can have a massage here too. So this place, this place, same, same. Ah, there you go, guys. So it's part of the restaurant. Uh, we've got the Pond Restaurant right here too. So those are the kind of foods that they do here and uh, some of the prices. And uh, that is what they have here too. Good spot if you want to be on the beach. Just got to mind my head there because I'm too tall for the umbrella. Uh, you got the Freedom restaurant on the right selling pizzas, beers. Uh, they've got mango sticky rice here too for 100 baht here. Uh, even a pancake, if you want a pancake too. Oh no, vlogging sir. Doing a video sir. Tried to sell me some sunglasses, that guy did. Uh, we've got the Lilo Island. This place here, room for rent. Uh, the place on the right is busy. So that is good when you see my shop, that is full, that is busy. So those are the prices that they do here. Just to give you guys an idea. You can get an ice cream here too at this place here. Thai food, seafood, pizza, breakfast from 8am, cocktails, pancakes along here. Bella Vista on the right. So you've got pancakes, waffles, uh, breakfast, egg, bread along here, etc. And it's an Italian restaurant, so if you're into Italian food, could be a good spot for you. You've got the Smile Bar by E2. Uh, so what they got here? So they do Thai dishes, fish etc food looks pretty good here and uh, look at that too for zoom in and that is the restaurant to check out guys ah uh, i'm doing this video so man, man, man me line cab and you can see inside the restaurant too pretty nice place uh, another place for a massage and a foot massage is 200 baht. Uh, that is the cheapest I've seen so far for a foot massage. This place here, half of nine in the morning until 10 p.m. Uh, we've got another restaurant on the right here too. So the restaurants here endless along here. Seafood, seafood there, happy hour. Uh, you've got this place too, which seems to be really, really busy at the moment. Uh, I don't know what this place is, but it's busy. So that's good. And uh, what do we have here? Classic cocktails, steamed food. No, sorry, steamed fish with lemon sauce, soy, 
barbecue fish and uh, even different ice creams too so that's just some of the restaurants and bars they've got back there and uh, I finished a few more places down here so just getting across this little uh, motorbike car park on here on the beach of Camla Beach here Uh, so you got a few bars here. Yeah, so you got a few bars along there. I don't want to disturb those people. And there you are. A view of the, the ocean and Camel Beach here. And we've walked all the way from down there. So I'm at Campbell Beach and uh, I've come to this place. Um, I don't think we're going to get a good sunset tonight at Campbell Beach because it's quite overcast. Uh, however, I'm sat in a pretty good spot. I've had a massage this afternoon, foot massage. Uh, so I posted a shot on that, uh, showing you how busy it was. It was absolutely packed out in there. Couldn't believe it, but it was, it's, it was amazing. Um, the best massage I've had in Tand on this trip so far. So take in that view guys, it is absolutely fantastic here. Uh, I've got a Chan there, um, you are going to pay a bit more on the beach, so it's 120 baht, yeah a bit more than you would get from a shop but you are on the beach here so you've got to expect to pay a bit more but you're paying for the location here, the view. And that is the view right now. And if you want to know where I am exactly, then this is the place right here. This bar. Uh, can a couple about the service. And it's just right down there too. So after visiting Camel Beach and going for a really nice massage, I've done a shot on that place, recommend the place. Uh, you've got Den's Camel Resort on the left here. Uh, you've got a guest house too down this side as well. Uh, you've got a two place on the left. Uh, you've got a pharmacy on the right here. You've got a cafe on the left there too. What doesn't seem to be open at the moment. Uh, you've got room for rent along this side here. Now this place here, so you're looking for a place to stay at. Uh, you've got this place there too. And uh, you've got a room for vent along this side here too, which features uh, a pool and even a guest house. So there's quite a few places where you could stay if you want to stay at Camel Beach and you're quite close to the beach there too. You've got the Cam Camel Beach front apartment along this side here too. Uh, you've got a minima on the left. And you've just got to watch out for these uh, soy dogs along here. So just be careful. If you're down here, 
switch over the soy dogs. Uh, you've got a laundry service on the left here too. So you can have a massage here and it'll cost you a few and a bath for a time massage. So you've got a couple of places along here too. Uh, another massage place and uh, one this side here too. Meal cab. So that covers this little area. If you're looking for somewhere to stay in uh, Kamla. So we're going to go for a little walk now along this uh, main road here and uh, it'll go into Kamla. Uh, you've got the Princess Kamala Beach Front Hotel on the left hand side here. So that is the entrance into the hotel. Looks a very, very nice hotel. Uh, you'll get all these kind of places trying to sell you a tour or a show or an excursion. Uh, along this side here you can get a tattoo if you want to get a tattoo. Uh, you've got Roots Bar on the left. A place to get headphones beach stuff where uh, you've got Danny's place on the left and uh, there's a 7-eleven across the road there too uh, you've got ice seafood too on the left here so if you're into your seafood then this could be a good place for you we've got the sugar wax and massage on the left here. Uh, we've got Siam Guest House on the left here too. Uh, we've got Hellwell House, Currency Exchange. Uh, we've got a pharmacy along this side here too. A place to do laundry, only beach stuff. Uh, you've got the Camilla Coffee House on the right here. So if you want to book a tour, do a dive in, and you've got this place by E2. Uh, if you guys want a, a suit made, you've got this place here if you want a suit. Uh, you've got the Country Delight on the left here. Uh, another place where you can get a suit if you want to have a suit tailored for you. Uh, but I'm not going to bother because I don't need a suit. Uh, you've got more food places along this side here. Uh, you've got the... Le Layla Lena Hotel along this side here and you've got this restaurant here too looks looks nice uh, what else have we got here uh, we've got another place called the Palms I believe selling Thai foods European food steaks etc inside that place there uh, more shops selling beach stuff, stuff for the beach uh, another place if you want to have a suit made, Thai massage. Um, you've got another place for bags and bladders on the near. Uh, you've got a bowl on this side here. If you want a tattoo or for you ladies, you want your hair braiding, you've got this place right here. Uh, you've got no key bar on the left here. Uh, you've got Royal Indian Pakistani food on the right there. 20 meters on the beach. 20 meters on the beach, shall I say. You've got the Bird Beach House down that side there. So it's quite quiet around here. You know, compared to Kata Beach and uh, Camel Beach that I visited, this is quiet here. It's not busy on here. Uh, you've got the, what does that say? I can't see because of the sun, but you've got a, a girl and restaurant, restaurant dining experience down there. If you want to go for some really nice food, right by the beach. You've got little, little, little restaurant on the right, uh, wine and uh, bar, massage place on the left. Uh, another tailor shop again. So many tailor shops in Kamla here. It's unbelievable. 
and you've got one on the corner there too. So how they make money, I do not know. Uh, you've got this place here. Question on bar. Uh, we've got a restaurant on the left. We've got another place right there too. Another massage place. Uh, you've got a little side down there too. Probably a massage place. I'll go around this corner and see if there's anything else. Uh, but I think we've got a school here or something. Uh, we've got another shop on here, on the right here too. And uh, in Bunju out here, uh, we've got a restaurant down here and we've got a place here which doesn't seem to be open at the moment. Uh, we've got F Fusion along this side here too. If you want a coffee or maybe a cake or something. Uh, you've got a place where you can rent a motorbike or a car. So I did cab. And up in front we've got the pav pavilion, seafood and a guest house right here. So that is the place right there. And it brings you onto the beach here. There you go. So it's not a big place, Kamla. Uh, but we've come from down there. And we've come from down there too. Tonight I've come to this restaurant and unfortunately the sunset's not great tonight. So... I do apologise on the sunset front, very overcast as you can see, so I'm a bit disappointed not to show you guys uh, magnificent sunset on like yesterday, uh, but I'm at this restaurant here. So I've come to this restaurant right here, Palini Restaurant, Kamla, Phuket, Thailand, Konku Cab. So they have omelettes, um, those are your starters, I hear two. So there's quite a huge selection of different kinds of foods that I've got here. They've got soups, Thai soup, rice, noodles all on there too, chicken, etc, etc. And this is just off the beach of uh, Kama Beach here. So we've got a delicious satay, which is just arrived right here. Look at that, guys. The presentation on that. So you got the chicken satay right there. You got the peanut sauce right here too. You got the the bamboo leaf, which is good, and you've got the tomato too. Let's dig in, shall we? So we've got the chicken satay right here. We're gonna dig it into this uh, peanut sauce here. That is really good. The lady behind me wants a picture, so... <laughs> there we go. Do you want the picture of me? Chicken's really juicy too, guys. Honestly, really, really good. And for the sauce... So I've got a bit of sauce here too, as you can see here. There we go. That is very good, guys. Satay is really good here. Chicken's not dry, nice and moist. The sauce is very good too, no complaints. And um, recommend this place so far. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So you can book a tour if you want to book a tour right in that far distance. Uh, and you've got all these uh, other food places there too. So if you want to eat here, you can. You can eat other stores too. And uh, the, they all provide different kind of, different styles of food here. So. The night in competition with each other, which is good. 
So I'm just waiting for my food to come. So my main course has now finally arrived and look at this dish guys. It looks absolutely fantastic here. So we've got a fish here, served with lime. You've got peppers, maybe a bit of garlic in there. You got a presentation of the carrot there, as you can see there too. And just look at this. It looks absolutely fantastic here. So we've got a fish with a few peppers, um, but when you get this dish, just beware of the bones in the fish. Uh, we're gonna try it with a bit of sauce as well. Let's try it, shall we? Oh, this is absolutely amazing, guys. That is so good. It does have a bit of a kick, that is the fish itself, and we'll try with a bit of sauce. Mmm, that is very good, guys. Really good. Um, I'll give this dish nine out of ten. It is absolutely fantastic. It is a bit spicy. I'm not going to lie to you, but it's fresh. Presentation is really good here. You got the nice uh, garnish of the lime, the lime on, on the fish there too. Fish is amazing here guys. Highly recommend this place. If you've not been here before, get yourself down here. Um, they are connected to the bar where I just um, had a few drinks on the beach there. Uh, they have actually related to each other. So this place if you want a good, really good, nice food, then I recommend this place. They do so other dishes here too. Um, it's up to you what you want on the menu. But for me, the fish is amazing and a chicken satay is amazing. Nine out of ten. I will come back again myself for it if I could. Absolutely that good. So this is the place you want to come to. This restaurant right here, guys. And that's the lady who's wearing Nook. Very nice lady. She'll accommodate you no matter what. Thank you so much, Conco Cab. Conco Cab. Conco Cab. Thanks very much for the food. Okay. Uh, so, guys, if you want good food, go to that restaurant. Uh, Nook is very good. She'll accommodate you no matter what. And uh, the food there was absolutely amazing. You know, the fish with the lime, it was, uh, it was immense. So I'm going to wrap up this video now of uh, Kamla Beach, showing you guys some of the, the foods here, uh, showing you the beach, showing you what's available here. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and uh, hope to see you guys on the next one.